Firstly, yeah, yeah, firstly the this is this is still a first generation display. We have a second or third generation by now. But this is operating off of backlight off of reflected light. There's no backlight. Oh all right. Yeah. Okay. So um, if we turn the backlight on it adds an extra water to it. But right now you can read a book at about one watt. Okay. Home machine. So you and the GUI, you're saying the GUI interface here, you're going to, what, these, these buttons up here are things I'm not familiar with. That's right. And, and there are function keys hidden under them when you have to do function operations. Oh, okay. But uh, I can turn the back light on. Oh, uh, yeah. Color. So this shows you the wide the wide network of access points. You see the green triangles and access points. <laughs> not yet. Uh, this is a mesh network if one's available. It hasn't found one, so it's not solid. It's kind of half built. How does the mesh network mean? work? Uh, so drop check in there. I don't know if people watching this won't know what a mesh network is. So. Oh, that's, I suppose that's true. Well, if, if they don't know what it is, where should I start? Uh, if you have a, a room full of these without any access points to the rest of the net, they'll see one another. Okay. You'll see a lot of little XOs like this. So it's like a little local area network. Right. Yep. And w and one of those XOs could say, I'll, I'm gonna Get I'm gonna here. host and distribute some addresses for this network. Okay. So how I mean conceptually, could that work in numbers of kilometers if we had these things every 10 meters and only one 10 kilometers away was connected? Uh, are they gonna relay all the way to that one connection point? There's some maximum, there's some reasonable maximum to the number of yeah. hops that works. You get okay. you get some drop off in bandwidth for every hop. Okay. So you, you don't want to have more than ten hops or so in your yeah, yeah, system. Yeah. It's not a, it's not an absolute limitation. It's just you, you can get pretty good bandwidth over a couple hundred meters line of sight. It we've gotten 1.2 kilometers in the Australian bush when there's no noise anywhere, but uh, we say about 300 meters line of sight. Hmm. And and we've managed to have a couple people connected over a kilometer in Cambridge with a number of hops in between. Oh. Okay. What about that? Looks like game controllers on there. Oh yeah. So I mean, you can ah, you can flip this down into into book modes. You can maybe rotate the display a little bit and, and watch your ebook, and then you can use these to navigate around a display. Or you could rotate it the other way. Is there any talk about making the stylus touchpad sort of thing, or is that just too expensive? Oh, we wanted to, but it was it was too expensive for this revision. It was an extra, yeah, compared to the cost of the machine, if we were still trying to get down to $100 as soon as we can. That was a lot. I mean, I've already said it, but just for the recording, I really like how the hardware is actually in the flip top because, as you can see, there's been coffee spilt on this little jobby. Yeah. And that just doesn't mean anything because the hardware is sitting up here and uh, no big deal. And then the power pack. The power pack is this tiny little... You see that back there? Tiny, tiny little thing too. Can I get a yellow one? Yeah, yellow. No, no yellow oh, ones yet. They only come in green. Only green. Right, right now they're all green. And the crank handle's an optional extra, as is a solar panel. And That's right. Yeah. And, and what's the software on it like? Crank I mean, you, you've been using it all day there. Is it tripped up at all? Or? No, not at all. Okay. Um, without power management, because we're still working on the power management system, right. I can get uh, I can get a, a few hours out of this, especially if I turn the back light off. A few hours on the battery, fully charged. Yeah. I, I had a partly charged battery this morning. I got two and a half hours before I had to plug it in. And that's still with the wireless running and everything like that. The wireless, I wasn't I wasn't leaving the wireless on. I wasn't okay. using it, and I left the back light off, and I was just using text. I was running the CPU for level graphics. But in the current mode, the CPU is, is, is on most of the time. It doesn't really know when to turn itself off. Okay. So we expect to be able to get 8 to 10 hours once we have power management in place. More if you're just reading books. Okay. And so then it would be hard to, to use a hand power and also play video games. Mm. You have to be powering it a lot. But if you want to, to read something for half an hour, you should be able to do that mm. without much effort. Cool. Well, thanks, man. You're so welcome. Yeah.